what can I do? What can I do? I can go ahead. I can go ahead and I can tell him, listen, go and take. Go and take. This up to you, Yerushalayim. And when you get there, you can go ahead and you can take some for yourself. I can tell him, go and take some for yourself. So I'll say, so what's the difference between the two cases? The difference in the two cases is in number one, I actively stipulated a wage agreement. Right? Go ahead, transport it up, and you can take half. In number two, I say, you know what? Do me if I don't say anything. I say, take them up to you, Shalayim. And I say, take Omer lo halam, halam lo ochlom shalosam. Take this up and you can eat it and drink it. So we'll say, again, it's all just a matter of how you structure the arrangement. Is the arrangement structured as a wage or is it structured as a mat nasrinam? Is it structured as a gift? If it's structured as a gift, it's going to be mutter. If it's structured as a wage, it's going to be asr. <coughs> so the Gemara says, so we'll say, so this the Gemara is suggesting is as follows. The Gemara says over here, so what does it mean when you could go ahead and pay your chamarin, you could pay the donkey drivers, ultimately in pay Shviyas, it means that you could technically pay them, but not as a wage. You could pay them as long as what? As long as it is structured as a mat nasrinam. So as long as it is structured as a gift, we'll say, by the way, we see this in many areas of halacha. You know where this comes up most often? So we'll say, so first of all, this comes up, if you remember again, back to our Izu Neshech days, Right? Sometimes, now again, this is much more complicated than the way I'm going to make it right now. You're not allowed to pay ribs. You're not allowed to go in and pay, and pay interest. You are permitted, however, to give a gift. Now again, how you structure a gift in order that it not appear like ribbis at all is a more complicated situation. But we see this concept that even though something is permitted in a quote-unquote transactional fashion, it may be permitted by Taras Matana. So I am not allowed to pay my workers, my chamar and my donkey drivers in Peiro Shvius. For one thing, even though Peiro Shvius are mine, I will say, they're mine. They belong to me. I take it, they're hefker. I took ownership over it. But again, it's only mine la'achla to eat it and the chazal dashim below the schorah. But I can give him a matna sinam. I can't pay someone in my sushani. But I can tell someone, why don't you take this, you know what, take this up to your shalim and enjoy it. And enjoy it. So we'll say, again, even though I'm effectively paying him for his, for his services, the maisa, what I'm doing over here is I'm structuring it as a matna sinam, and therefore it's going to be mutter. I v'tir kashi l'cha. So the gemar says, v'rava amar, rava says, the olam v'kadosh b'kadosh ha'shviyas. Rava says, no. In fact, the, the reality is, going back to what we said before, the reason you can't go ahead and pay the, the chamar, the reason you can't pay the donkey driver in Shemitah produce is because that Shemitah produce actually absorbs Kiddush HaShviyas. So the Gemara says, I will say, here's the problem. So the Gemara wanted to suggest, one of, the, one, of the, one of the approaches we had, is that the reason you can't go ahead and pay your donkey driver in, in Shemitah produce is why? Because the Shemitah produce takes on the sanctity, to, or I should say, excuse me, take that differently. The wages, the wages take on the sanctity of actual Shemitah produce. So the Gemara says, I, but we brought before the case of the Poel, right? The Bosom, again, remember, what was the case of the Poel? That was the case where I tell the guy to go and pick a vegetable for me. So depending on how I phrase it, as long as I phrase it in the right way, right, that it's not, that doesn't look like a Schirus, then ultimately, again, it's going to be permitted. So the Gemara says, I see, you see from there that the sanctity of the Shemitah produce does not transfer over to the wages, to which the Gemara says, here's the difference. Poil to lo nafish igre lo kansur rabbanam. We'll say, Paul doesn't get paid all that much money. So because the Paul doesn't get, pay, get paid that much money, Chazal didn't feel a need to penalize his wages. Chamorin de nafish agrayu kansu behu rabbanam. So we'll say, again, but on the other hand, the donkey drivers Ultimately, who do get paid more money, Chazal felt the need to penalize their wages and to impose Kiddusha Shviyas even on their wages. And I will say the conclusion of the Sudya, Umasnisin Chumra Diyayin Nesechi. Oh, Chumra Diyayin Nesech Shain, excuse me. And I will say, our Mishnah, our Mishnah, you know what this all comes down to? You see, here's what's amazing. We spent all of this time trying to figure out the halachic construct for why it is that the wages of a Jew who helps an Akum with Yain Esech, not in the production of Yain Esech, that chapter is closed, but now just with the dealings of Yain Esech, the pouring of Yain Esech, the transport of Yain Esech, why is it that his wages are usher? So we spent the whole Amadal trying to figure out a halachic construct for why it is that the identity essentially of the Yain Esech passes down to the wages. And we bring in Shemitah and Maiser Sheni and all these different things to which the Gemara finally says, do you know why it's like that? It's a Chumrah. 
It's a chumra by yayin esech. Rabbi say, look at Rashi. Umas nisin. Second half from the top. Umas nisin. The yayin esech. The kones nami poel. The lo nafish agre chumra di yayin esech sheni. Rabbi say, bottom line. Bottom line is halacha lemaisa. The Gemara tells me that this is a chumra of yayin esech. So one of the additional Rabbi say, now you understand that the novelty in so much of this is that we're dealing with multiple levels. Of rabbinic law. Normally, again, Chazal don't pile their laws on top of their laws, but yet again, we see because of the Chumra of Yay and Nasech, there are multiple layers of rabbinic law. So now again, we see that the wages of one who exclusively deals with Yay and Nasech are going to be us or like the Yay and Nasech itself. So, we'll say, so just, I will do one more sugi, then I'll tell you, then I'll tell you some interesting Allah Isa. So, we'll say, so now we've established is that if a Jew is hired by an akum to go ahead and to go ahead and exclusively deal with yayin esech, that is his job to pour the yayin esech, to move the yayin esech, so his wages are aser bano, just like the yayin blessing, just like the yayin esech itself. Now the Gemara says, asks an interesting follow-up question. Ibaylo, sochro listam yeinon mahu. Ooh, we'll say, watch this, watch this. Let's say now, an akum hires me. Not for Yain Esach. He, he's not so from. He's a little bit off the derech. So we'll say, so again, he doesn't have libational wine. Instead, what does he have? Regular wine. Regular wine. Regular wine. Say, but we've already established that what? Stam, what we call Stam Yainam, which means the, the wine of an Akum. So just the Stam wine of an Akum is Asr as well. So what happens if I get hired, right? My, the nature of I have exclusive employment, or the exclusive nature of my employment is to work with the Stam Yain. Of the Nachri Mahu. So we'll say, what is the status of my wages? On one hand, Miyaminon, Kevan, Di Isura, Chamer, Kidiyai Nesach, I'm sorry, Kevan, Di Isura, so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to put this here. Mahu, Miyaminon, Kevan, Di Isura, Chamer, Kidiyai Nesach, Schoro, Nami, Aser. So we'll say, on one hand, we could say that since Stam Yenom is treated like Yai Nesach, the truth is in Halacha, they kind of are treated the same, and we're machmir on stam yenom, on just the regular wine of an akum, just like yayin esach. Therefore, scharo nami aser. So we'll say, the Gemara says, the reflexive answer would be, the truth is they're the same. We already seen before that although we, our whole discussion started with yayin esach, it very quickly and ultimately <laughs> led into stam yenom, and the truth is in halacha, we don't really make so much of a distinction between them. If that's the case, then what? That the same way then the wages from working with Yain Nesach are Asr, so the wages working with Stam Yenim should be Asr as well. That's one possibility. O Dilma, we will say that this is amazing. O Dilma, Hoil Bitumaso Kil, Af Nami Kil. We will say, listen to this. On the other hand, maybe we should say that since the Tumma of Yain Nesach is different than the Tumma of Stam Yenim, so there, there is a difference between them, Alt Tumma. Maybe then the laws of wages are different also. <coughs> and the wages will be usher by, by Yayin Nesach, but will not by usher be usher by Stam Yenim. We'll say, you'll see to yourself, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Well, first you're thinking, are there more Ragalach, right? So, right? But after that, <laughs> right? Are there any Ragalach left? Should I get up or not? Right, but, I will say, but, but, a, but after that, after that, what you're thinking is, well, what does Tuma have to do with wages? So, so, so the answer is absolutely nothing. All the Gemara is just suggesting is that maybe it's different in Chumrah of, khumra of the entity. So we'll say, so again, so Yayin Nesach, we'll say, has, as we're going to see in just a moment, a greater level of Tumah than Stam Yenom. So maybe since it has a greater level of Tumah, that's why the wages will be Asr as well. But Stam Yenom, which ultimately, again, has a lower form of Tumah, as we'll see in just a moment, then maybe the wages aren't Asr. Look at Rashi just a moment. Do Tumas and Kil, we'll say it's the last of the wide lines. Do Tumas and Kil. We'll say there are three different types of wine. So, Yayin Nesach Asr Ba'ano or Metame Toma Chamura Bekezayis. So, we'll say, listen to this. Essentially, Yayin Nesach, I will say, is treated like mace. Yayin Nesach is treated like a corpse. The same way that a corpse conveys Toma and all the ways in which a corpse conveys Toma, Yayin Nesach conveys Toma as well. So, we'll say, if you're under the same roof, with Yayin Nesach, your Tami Tuma Smeis. As Rashi says, Metami Tuma Chamura B'Kezayis. Both say the same way that a mace is Metami if there's a Kezayis of flesh. So ultimately, again, the, the Yayin Nesach is Metami also B'Kezayis. On the other hand, Stam Yayin on Asr Ba'ano, O Metami Tuma Smeis.